ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ नाइन ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन द मोर यू स्टे इन रिमेम्बरेंस एंड द प्योर यू बिकम द मोर ब्लैसिंग्स यू विल रिसीव फ्रॉम द पार लॉकिक मदर एंड फादर बाय रिसीविंग ब्लैसिंग्स यू विल बिकम कॉन्स्टेंटली हैप्पी क्वेश्चन वुड एडवाइज डज द फादर गिव ऑल ऑफ यू चिल्ड्रेन and thereby saves you from performing wrong actions answer baba advises you children keep all the wealth and prosperity you have with you but live as trustees you have been saying oh god all of this is yours god gave you a son he gave you wealth and god now says remove your intellects yoga from all of that and remain trustees follow shrimad and you won't perform any wrong actions you will become elevated song take blessings from the mother and father om shanti se baba explains to the teachers at the centers how they should teach the children who say that their mouths do not open or that they are unable to explain it is very easy to explain using the pictures when you explain to little children you have to use pictures do you not it shouldn't be that as soon as everyone comes and sits in class you begin the murli no you have to sit and explain to them from deep within you children heard the song one is the parlogic mother and father whom you continue to remember you are the mother and father he is the creator of the world the mother and father definitely creates heaven in the golden age children are residents of heaven mothers and fathers here are themselves residents of hell and so they would create children who are residents of hell in this song it says take blessing from the mother and father you know that mothers and fathers of this time don't give blessing those who reside in heaven give you blessings which then last for half a cycle then after half a cycle you become cursed they become impure themselves and they also make their children impure that would not be called blessings by continually giving curses the people of bharat have become cursed there is so much sorrow this is why they remember the mother and father that mother and father is now giving blessings he is teaching you and making you pure from impure here in bharat it is the dwelless community the kingdom of ravan whereas there it is the deity community the kingdom of rama the birth of ravan takes place in bharat se baba whom you call rama also takes birth in bharat when you go on to the path of sin the kingdom of ravan begins in bharat so rama the supreme father the supreme soul comes and make bharat from pure from impure when ravan comes people become impure it is sung rama went and ravan went and their whole families went the family of rama is very small all the other religions will add all of them will be destroyed only you deities will then remain you who have now become brahmins are the only ones who will be transferred to the golden age so you now receive blessings from the mother and father the mother and father are making you into the masters of heaven there there is nothing but happiness at this time there is sorrow in the iron age and so all religions are unhappy now after the iron age the golden age has to come there are so many people in the iron age there will not be as many people in the golden age however many brahmins there are there will be that many deities there the number of them will continue to increase till the end of the silver age they say that 3000 years before christ there was the golden age there is before christ brackets bc and ad brackets after christ unknown domini in the golden age there is 
just the one religion and one kingdom there will be very few people there there will just be bharat and there won't be any other religions there will just be the sun dynasty there won't even be the moon dynasty the sun dynasty can be called gods and goddesses because they are perfect you children know that the purifier is only the one supreme father the supreme soul brackets pointing to the picture of the cycle look the father is sitting up above he is carry he is carrying out establishment through brahma you are now studying when it is the kingdom of those deities there are no other religions then after half a cycle expansion takes place souls continue to come down from up above the clans continue to change and the number of human beings continue to increase there will be 900000 in the golden age and then there will be a million and they will continue to grow in number in the golden age bharat was elevated whereas now it is degraded it isn't that those of all religions will become elevated there are so many human beings here as well it takes so much effort to become elevated from degraded while becoming elevated they often fall into vice and become degraded the father says i have come to make you beautiful from ugly you repeatedly fall the unlimited father tells you everything in a straightforward manner he says you become those who defame the name of the clan you are dirtying your faces will you not become beautiful you were elevated for half a cycle and then your degrees continued to decrease by the end of the iron age the degrees have completely finished in the golden age there was just the one bharat now there are so many religions the father comes and once again establishes the elevated golden age it world you also have to become elevated who comes and makes you elevated the father is the lord of the poor this is not a question of money you come to the unlimited father to become elevated but nevertheless people ask why do you go there they create so many obstacles you know that there are many obstacles created by devils to this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of rudra many innocent ones are beaten some women also cause a lot of trouble they get married for wives the father now removes you from the pyre of lust and sits you sits you on the pyre of knowledge this is a contract for birth after birth at this time it is the kingdom of ravan the government has so many celebrations they burn ravan and they go to watch plays where did this ravan come from it is 2500 years since ravan came ravan has made everyone sit in the cottage of sorrow everyone is now unhappy and only unhappy in the kingdom of rama everyone is completely happy it is now the end of the iron age destruction is just ahead if so many millions of people are going to die then war would surely take place would it not everyone will be crushed like mustard seeds you can see how preparations are now taking place the father is establishing heaven no one else can can give this knowledge only the father comes and gives you this knowledge and makes you pure from impure it is only the one father who grants you salvation in the golden age there is salvation there is no need for gurus there through this knowledge you are now becoming trikal darshi in the golden age lakshmi and narayan will not have this knowledge at all so how could this knowledge have continued from time immemorial it is now the end of the iron age the father says remember me remember the father who carries out the establishment of the kingdom of heaven and also remember the inheritance you definitely do have to remain pure that is a pure world and this is an impure world kans jarasand hirnya kasyapu etc do not exist in the pure world they have taken 
the things of the iron age into the golden age say baba has come at the end of the iron age today say baba has come and tomorrow say krishna will come so they have mixed up the parts of say baba and say krishna god shiva speaks the sri krishna soul studies with him and attains that status they have then inserted krishna's name in the gita by mistake this mistake will take place again only when people become degraded can the father come and make them elevated only those who are elevated take the full 84 births and become degraded it is very easy to explain using this picture of the cycle it is also shown in the picture of the tree down below you are doing the tapasya of raj yoga and up above there is the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan you are now sitting beneath the trunk and the foundation is being laid you know that you will then go to the sun dynasty clan brackets to paradise the kingdom of rama is not called paradise paradise is the kingdom of krishna many people will now come to you your name will be glorified through the exhibitions etc when people see others coming there will be a lot of expansion the father comes and explains all of these things it is very easy to explain to anyone by using these pictures only god comes and carries out the establishment of the golden age and he comes into the impure world he makes ugly ones beautiful you are part of the dynasty and also people of the kingdom of krishna the father explains to you very well in corporeal sri baba sits here and says to you souls remember me this is the spiritual pilgrimage oh souls remember your land of peace the land of liberation and you will receive the inheritance of heaven you are now sitting at the confluence age the father says remember me and your inheritance and you will go to heaven the more someone stays in remembrance and remains pure the higher the status he will claim you are receiving so many great blessings may you be wealthy may you have a son may you have a long life the life spans of deities are very long they have visions when they have to save their bodies and become children again so this should enter you i a soul will save this old body and go and reside in a womb your final thoughts will lead you to your destination instead of being old why should i not become a child when a soul is in a body he experiences difficulty when a soul is separate from the body he doesn't experience any difficulty at all as soon as a soul separates from his body everything is over we now have to return baba comes from the incorporeal world to take us back this is the land of sorrow we are now to go to the land of liberation the father says i take everyone back to the land of liberation those of all religions have to go to the land of liberation they make effort to go to the land of liberation the father says remember me and you will come to me eat food in remembrance of papa and you will receive strength if you remain bodiless as you walk down to abu road you won't feel any tiredness baba used to make the children practice this in the early days they used to think i am a soul they used to be very light and would walk down they didn't have any tiredness at all without a body you souls can reach baba in a second you say the body here and you go and take another body in london in a second there is nothing as fast as a soul so the father now says children i have come to take you back now remember me your baba you are now receiving unlimited blessings from the parlokic father in a practical way the father is giving you children the most elevated of all directions you can keep all the wealth and prosperity you have simply live as trustees you have been saying oh god all of this is yours god gave a child god gave this wealth and prosperity acha god then comes and says remove your intellect yoga from all of that and live as trustees follow shrimat and the father will know whether you are doing anything wrong only by following shrimat will you become elevated by following dualist dictates you have become degraded it has taken you half a cycle to become degraded 
from being 16 celestial degrees you become 14 degrees and then degrees gradually decrease that takes time Achha. to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number one while walking and moving around practice being bodiless eat food in remembrance of the one father number two take blessings from the mother and father remain a trustee don't do anything wrong blessing may you be a knower of all secrets and while remaining free from temptation keep your physical family contained while accumulating your godly income some children fulfill their worldly task and look after their households and fulfill their responsibilities to their relatives and contacts they use their unlimited intellects to keep everyone contained and by knowing the secrets of a godly income receive their special share such children who are economical and belong to the one are free from temptation and use all their treasures time powers and physical wealth economically and generously for their spiritual work such children who are diplomatic and knowers of all secrets are praiseworthy slogan those who are embodiments of remembrance while performing every action become towers of light brackets lighthouses slogan those who are embodiments of remembrance while performing every action become towers of light brackets lighthouses om shanti